Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Basketball is back. We've got a Jaspies Basketball is Back 16 box basketball mixer coming at you with a uh, full spot promo here. So if you bought a spot straight up, um, you have a chance to win a spot. So we only sold 11 spots outright. So that's some pretty good odds to try to win a spot. So let's gather up your names. And this will be the first dice roll. Uh, and then the second dice roll will be names and teams. There may be a third dice roll if we have to do randomizers at the end. But the first dice roll will be for the extra spot. Good luck. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a four, six times. Name on top after six gets an extra spot. One, two, three, four, and two more. Five and six. Five and sixth and final time. It's going to be David with Last Spot Mojo. You get an extra spot. So there's your giveaway spot right there. Congrats to you. Now let's gather up everyone's names again. And now let's assign you a random team. Now big thanks again to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats again to the people who won their spots in those filler packs. And now the break. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a five. Nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. After nine, we got Rex all the way down to Mike Tower. Four and a five. Nine times for the teams. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got the Bulls down to the Sacramento Kings. All right, Rex with the Chicago Bulls, David with the Suns, Brian, that's your giveaway spot, David. Brian with the Clippers, Jehun with the Grizzlies. Uh, Sean with the Raptors, Daryl with the Wizards, Daniel with the Knicks, Aaron with the Hawks, Nick, you got my Lakers, Lakers up 21-16 on the Warriors in the what, middle of four minutes left in the first quarter, game just started, David with the Nets, they fell to the Bucks today in opening night, Brandon with the Sixers, Stephen Davenport, Trailblazers, Aaron with the Jazz, Tom with the Mavs, Dennis with the Magic, Mike with the Rockets, Stephen K with the Heat, Roy with the Spurs, Brendan with the Thunder, Bo with the Celtics, Jonathan with the T-Wolves, Zach with the Pacers, Rob with the Bucks, Kevin with the Nuggets, Sean with the Pistons, Roy with the Warriors, Nick with the Hornets, Aaron with the Pelicans, and Mike with the Sacramento Kings. So let's sort by column B, by team, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. I'm going to take that trade window time to set up the break on my break table here as well. Remember to trade at your own risk. Just think about all the different years that we have in this mixer. So we're gonna pause the video, I will be right back. Stick around. All right, welcome back folks. Uh, a lot of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on Tuesday the 19th. Thanks for joining us, and thanks for making us part of your Tuesday. Thanks everybody for getting in. And here are all of the boxes right here. You can see some of the boxes in the foreground. You'll see most of the boxes in the top camera right over here. Let's see if we can, we can little, do a little, uh, little view right there. So there's all the boxes in the break. Some hiding behind other boxes right there, but a pretty nice selection of boxes. So thanks everybody who got into the action. Let's start with some of the base heavier stuff first. Give myself a little bit of room here. Uh, like the premium stock. It's where those cello packs come from. Good luck, everybody. So here's a question. If Fanatics buys upper deck, if Jordan would actually sign for them, my guess would be yes. I think that would be the only reason why Fanatics would want to buy upper deck. Well, that and LeBron, I guess. LeBron's exclusive to upper deck as well. But yeah, that would be the whole point of buying Upper Deck. So 
So we got my Lakers up 30 to 28, nearing the end of the first quarter, under a minute left. Against the, they're hosting the Warriors tonight. Basketball is back. We are we are in a really fun part of the uh, of the sports calendar. There was a bit of a LA sports equinox happening today. My Dodgers played early, and uh, they they managed to beat the Braves late in that game. Bellinger game tying three run homer and Betts with a go ahead single, go ahead hit. Finally got one on the Braves. The Kings were in the Kings were in Nashville, but they lost to the Predators 2-1. And the Lakers game on TNT on in the background right here. I'm saying, would Jordan refuse to sign? I mean, I suppose he could. But I, <laughs> knowing Michael Jordan. Uh, I don't think he would refuse money. And so I don't know why Michael Jordan would do that. The Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan's a for-profit business. Why would Michael Jordan say, eh, I'll turn down money? Not the Michael Jordan I know. In fact, he's probably going to be like, pay me more money. And Fanatics will be like, yes, sir, whatever you want. You name the price, and we'll sign the check. Yeah, j Dog, I'm, I'm kind of half watching this game. AD, AD does look pretty good. I mean, he looks good when he's healthy. He just needs to stay healthy. I'm not, not worried about when AD's healthy. Yeah, he's going to look great. All right, so here are all the cello packs. Now let's... And once again, before I really get into this um nothing sold nothing else sold out at the moment after this so we did the prism pack did i upload that prism pack i did okay good job joe i uploaded that prism pack. i opened the prism box uploaded the prism pack and we got this video recording at the moment so i don't see any orders right now but if you want to keep things going after this mixer we definitely have got plenty of time to do so oliver what's going on what a game what, what did it look like from, from the Dodger Stadium perspective? All right, good luck, everybody. Basketball mixer. So remember the green, not numbered, but they will ship. Do all cards ship in this? I think Vet Commons probably don't ship. Yeah, Vet Commons don't ship in this. So, for example, like that Kuzma is not going to ship. The Murray won't ship. Bazemore won't ship. These are the commons that won't ship. We sell the commons and we donate the money to charity. Obviously, rookie cards will ship. And Romeo Langford will ship. Caruso will ship. The NBA City cards will ship. Those are inserts. Of course, they'll ship. Yeah, rookie cards, parallels, inserts. The silver parallel definitely will ship. Zion, of course, definitely ships. That'll be for Aaron and the Pelicans. Holy moly. Says Oliver. Yeah, that was quite a finish. Yeah, Oliver saying sad times from innings two through seven. But then once that belly game tying home run... Happy times, times a hundred, I would imagine. There's Hachimura. We got next blue parallel, which is not numbered, but still a parallel that will ship, of course. It's an insert. 
Dinwiddie, blue. And J-Dog saying it looks like Giannis looks even better than last year. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I mean, he seems to improve every year, doesn't he? It's pretty good. There might be a, 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 a number of years where he's just playing just this excellent top-level basketball. Vet Commons like uh, LeBron James uh, will ship, though. That's an exciting part of the year, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to start to see uh, what all the players from... The recent draft classes, we're going to see how these youngsters do, how they take it to the next level. There's LeBron James again. This time it's the NBA City insert, and it's a silver parallel, which I think looks really sharp. Who has my Lakers? Nick has my Lakers. I think these City cards look really sharp. I do like that Bellinger Oliver is just is starting to find his groove. I, I dig that. That's that's good, especially since Trey Turner and Justin the Turner seem to be struggling at the plate. It's good to see Bellinger starting to hit well. I'm wondering if you start to slide Bellinger up that lineup, maybe start sliding Trey Turner down the lineup a little bit and uh, try to maximize Bellinger's abs to solve the sort of anemic offense that the Dodgers have at times. Justin Clemente, one of my buddies, used to gamble with Michael Jordan about once a year in Charlotte. They played one time, and MJ lost big the first 18. Second 18, MJ asked what they wanted to play for. He said whatever made him scared. I'm not sure that number exists. Yeah, I don't think that number exists. What were they, what were they playing? Poker? Hold them. All right, so the bonus packs are all in that velocity pattern. Obviously, these are all bonuses. They're, they're all going to ship. They're all parallels. Ooh, nice. There's a Zion. There we go. Zion rookie card in that velocity pattern going to Aaron and the Pelicans. There you go, Aaron. Rookie Zion. And if that grades out nice, it could be big. And you want him to start the season off strong, too. His third year now, Zion. Oh, and there's John Morant. And that'll be for Jehun and the Grizzlies. All right, good start. Uh, what else should we do? Should we do some old hoops? 12, 13 hoops? Yeah, let's go back in time a little bit. We'll bounce around a little bit here. There we go, empty box. All right, let's keep rolling. Jay, what's going on? How are you? Justin can't remember how much they were playing for. You were invited one time. Oh, but he ended up having surgery, so we missed out everything. Next time, be sure to. Next time that happens, Justin, maybe we'll send you uh, some some Jaspi swag to give in, to put into Jordan fans. Yeah, this mixer is pretty a pretty nice way to start the basketball season. I agree. 
it looks like everyone was eager uh, for some hoops because this mixer and the filler sold out rather quickly. So thanks everybody. So let's see what we got here. I got to be a little careful here because I think this was the double rookie year. So I don't know if the cards will actually say. It. It's not every time we open this this product right here. I wonder, back in 2013, 2012, 2013, was anyone really playing Xbox NBA Baller Beats on Xbox? Who was actually playing that? Don't be shy. Let me know. I think Anthony Davis might be a rookie here. Damian Lillard may be in this set too. I mean, I think all the guys in that kind of picture should, should be the rookies. There's Austin Rivers. There's Miami edition of LeBron James, Stephen Kendrick with the Heat. He's back to number six now this year. Oh, and there's Anthony Davis. That should be a rookie card. Nice. For New Orleans, that's going to go to Aaron with Nolens. If he stays healthy this year, this could be a big year for him. All right. All right, not too shabby. Next box, onwards. What about, let's get this, this status box is kind of an awkward size, so let's get this out of the way. So this is 2019-2020 status basketball. Good luck. I really like the status design. I hope, I hope they bring it back this year. Good game here. Lakers 41, Warriors 40. Yeah, I agree, Justin. This is a pretty underrated product here. I feel like if they kind of tightened up the checklist, maybe put some a special short print in here and stuff like that, I feel like this product would really take off. There's DeAndre Ayton, that's a parallel, that'll ship. Not sure why the Suns and DeAndre Ayton couldn't come up with, with, a, with an extension. There's Kawhi, eight out of 49, upper echelon. For the Clippers, that's gonna be for Brian. I mean, Suns can't screw that up. They gotta they got lock, lock up their, their stars. The names are kind of hard to read in the reflection. There's a rookie Tyler Hero. And that'll be for uh, Miami, Stephen K with Miami. And here is a Jalen Noel autograph, rookie autograph for Jonathan and the T-Wolves. New Kids Court to 25. There's a new beginnings, Kobe White. Let's see if we can find some rookie cards of his. Nikhil Alexander Walker and a Zion Williamson upper echelon. Nice rookie insert for the Pelicans. That's going to go to Aaron.
John Morant rookie card too. Nice. You know, I'll be honest with you. I've not watched too much preseason basketball. How's uh, how is Zion looking? How's Zion and John Morant looking? I feel like I saw some some highlights of John Morant. It looks like he hasn't skipped a beat. How's Zion looking? All right, let's grab 2020-2021 select. So this is a mega box of select. David B, John Morant, going to be an all-star this year. I hope so. I really like John Morant's game. They paid, uh, Grizzlies paid, uh, Memphis paid Jaron Jackson Jr. too. I know he was one of, he was a big name when we were ripping open that 1819 product there, but he, he got, he got a big contract and he should be comfortable and settled and I'd like to see him keep evolving. There's Patrick Williams for the Bulls, rookie. Josh Green. Steph Curry, a couple Steph Currys here. Here's a courtside Steph Curry and a, uh, and a numbers Steph Curry. So both of those Stephs going to Roy, the Golden State Warriors, the rookie Patrick Williams going to Rex and the Bulls. That's premier level. Nice Lamello. I think these cracked ices, they're obviously going to ship, but I don't think they're numbered. Nice LaMelo Ball rookie card going to Nick and the Charlotte Hornets. Nice concourse level. Aaron Naismith and Kira Lewis Jr. I think Zion had minor surgery recently. Okay. So maybe he hasn't been doing too much preseason stuff. Uh, let's let's go with, yeah, some Donner's basketball. How about that? box. There's Kevin Durant. Nice parallel there. Jaden McDaniels. Luka Doncic. So these second year Luka Doncic we actually do ship. In case you're wondering, I know we say Vet Commons don't ship, and that's technically a common card. But Zion, Luka Doncic, LeBron James. I don't know if there's going to be any Kobe Bryant cards here, but Kobe's would ship. Giannis as well. Giannis is another one of those, those common cards that we do end up shipping out. And there's a rated rookie, Patrick Williams, for Rex and the Bulls. Yeah, I think I think from I've only been kind of half watching this game. I've been focusing on this break, but it sounds like it sounds like yeah, LeBron looking solid as usual. Westbrook a little invisible tonight, but yeah, I think Scott. I was telling I was telling everybody earlier. I think it's going to take a little bit of time for for everybody to really kind of gel together. All right, this is uh, the most current draft class, the right now draft class, this season's draft class. I guess Lamelo draft class is now considered last season now. So this is twenty one twenty two draft picks: Cade Cunningham, Jalen Suggs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera.
There's a, our first Cade Cunningham right there, 30 out of 49. 13, for Detroit, that'll be for Sean Maddock. And Franz Wagner. Wagner, really. Substantial rookie swatches. Westbrook is garbage, Joe P. saying. Horrible signing. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, th I don't think you could really judge that a quarter into the season. Four out of 75, Damian Jefferson. He's a professional. Let's wait until the end of the, end of the season. Damian Jefferson autograph. You know, we'll make sure, make sure all of these will go, get to their pro teams. Another Cade Cunningham right here. And we got a redemption, and we got Ayo Dosunmu, 18 out of 99. And that encase design. We got Brandon Boston Jr., rookie autograph. Jalen Suggs right there. And the redemption is going to be uh, Deron Sharp, Mosaic Scripts, Autographs, Blue. So we're going to have our, our sorting and shipping team take a look at all these collegiate cards and make sure they go to their right pro teams. But you can look those up as well. I'm actually going to separate these out. All right, here's a mega box right here. This is 1819. I think this is the only 1819 box we have here. So, our one chance at Luka Doncic rookie cards. Just think he's knocking out the Lakers, which you're cool with. What, what's going on with your sons, Joe P? Why are they not extending De uh, Aiden, DeAndre Aiden? Why are they suddenly getting cheap? They make it to the finals and they're going to cheap out on DeAndre Aiden? I mean, if that actually happens, I mean, that's why. It, that's why sons are going to son. <laughs> you know, they have a great season. They're not going to lock down these players. Come on. Because the sons are always cheap. I mean, they've got a chance to really really recapture, you know, that, that market there. It'd be a shame. All right, mega box. Mark Delar is saying Aiden wants Trey money. He's not worth that. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, even, even though he's a division rival, I'm a big fan of the... Uh, of DeAndre Aiden. I thought there was a lot of buy low sort of opportunities last year in terms of the hobby. And I still think there is now. There's a Steph Curry hollow. But I think I think he's a pretty I think he's a little underrated even as good as he is. Alright, damn. No uh no Lucas here. Maybe in that those bonus packs. No, Diallo, rated rookie, Michael Bridges, pink high. And here's the other thing, Mark. Aiden wants Trey Money's not worth that, right? But he's worth that to the Suns. How many free agents are the Suns attracting, you know, to Phoenix with the money? No offense to Phoenix, it's a great town, but I don't think you're attracting too much. You're not. I don't think you're atta attracting too many free agents. So, if you're the 
if you're the Suns, you gotta just you gotta pay him. All right, there's 2021 Crown Royale. He made. I think I agree with you. He's he's not. He's not worth Trey Young money on the open market, I think, but to the Suns. I think he's important. It's Killian Hayes. And we got a Derek Coleman die cut autograph for the Sixers. That is 2 out of 32. It's kind of hard to see the numbers there for a second. Sixers, that's going to be for Brandon. And there's a John Collins red die cut. These are really sharp. I'm a fan of those. All right, next box. Yeah, David B. agrees with Joe P. Westbrook used to be a one-man show. Going to be fourth option after Carmelo. I don't think Carmelo is getting nearly as many minutes as, uh, as Westbrook's going to get. Here's how we're going to finish it. We're going to do these mosaic boxes first. Right? And then we'll close out with all of those prism boxes in the back. So let's do these hanger boxes first. You know, personally, I'm not worried about Russell Westbrook right now. He's got entire season to uh, he's got the entire season to figure out a fit. You know what I mean? As long as that's figured out by the time the playoffs roll around, I'm okay with that. I'm happy spending the entire season figuring out how to make Westbrook work on the team. Although. I have to admit, I did. I did have an eyebrow raise when, when the Lakers went with Westbrook. But we'll see. I mean, Frank Vogel is a pretty solid coach. I, th I think he could figure it out. If everyone buys in, then that's gonna that's gonna work. So these are your mosaic hanger boxes. Brandon Clark, Melly, PJ Washington, Barkley. Whoa, look at this. This card must have got stuck in one of the, the printers there. Yeah, sorry, Sean Jaspi. Looks like the looks like my Dodgers are gonna live to live to uh, fight another day. But you, why would you buy a broom? You're not even a you're not even a Braves fan. You're an Angels fan. Doesn't even make sense. Ooh, nice Shaq Genesis for the Lakers. That's a short print. That's for Nick and the Lakers. You see, this this is Sean Jaspi, ladies and gentlemen. He's an Angels fan, but he I think he hates the Dodgers more than he loves the Angels. I definitely love the Dodgers more than any other, more than I hate any other team. We're not even in the same league together, so so Sean Sean sometimes gets gets confused. It's Kobe White rookie card. Sean, you just worry about loving your team. Put put more love in your life. I think Sean hates the Raiders more than he loves the Chargers. That's a problem. Yeah, he's an Angels fan, J Dog. I don't know what he's, he's even talking about. I think J Dog, he thinks there's some sort of rivalry between the Dodgers and the Angels. And there isn't.
Blaster box, mosaic. Alright, Mosaic Blaster Box, what do you have for us? Kendrick Nunn out today for the Lakers. There's Tyler Hero, rookie green for Stephen Kendrick and the Heat. MVP Giannis and Cam Reddish NBA debut. All right, prism time. Let's see what are, what are we doing here? Should we do this first? Are these is this fast break? I'm not sure what version this is with the pink pulsars. So this must be Prism Retail. This is Prism Mega. This must be Prism Fanatics. There's so many different Prisms right here. Here's, an, here's two different Megas right there. All right, well, let's do this retail first. This one's retail, Sean's saying. Thank you. Good luck. Does LeBron look tired? Well, he's an old man, Joe. At least, at least, uh, at least, yeah, he's getting old. And that's why he needs all those other guys. It's all right. Don't need to worry about the regular season. Just, just, just playoffs. And as long as he does what he does. Like drink unicorn blood or something like that before the playoffs and then it turns into playoff LeBron. That's all I need. I don't need playoff LeBron game one of 82. No thanks. Folks, what's the, uh, I like asking this question during breaks because I think this happens every year, right? There's always a team that misses the playoffs the season before that ends up making the playoffs the following season. And maybe not the bubble teams. There are often like just teams that just didn't look very, that were maybe sub 500 that sometimes make the playoffs the following year. What team is that going to be? I guess the play-in games start to start to help, but I think uh, the Wizards were sub 500, Pacers, Hornets were sub 500, Bulls, Raptors, Cavs, Magic, Pistons were all sub 500. Pistons are sub 300. In the West, uh, the Spurs are sub 500, Pelicans, Kings, Timberwolves, Thunder, Rockets. Yeah, Bulls are not a bad option. They, they added some pieces. They got some youngsters. Second year, Patrick Williams, etc., etc. You know, if, if Kobe White kind of gets back to what he looked like his, his rookie year, yeah, that's not a bad, that's not a bad shout. In a weaker East, yeah, they, they, might, they might be in the playoffs there. That's right, J-Dog. That's why Trout didn't sign with the, with the Dodgers, as Sean points out. He could have, but he didn't. Why? Because Trout likes going to Eagles games. And, and if he's in the playoffs, that interrupts him going to Eagles games. I'm 
about the king? I always think that the kings and timberwolves always look good on paper, but they never seem to. I don't see them end up doing that. Joe P, do you, what? Do you have Derek Carr on your fantasy team? Yeah, he looked good last week. They're playing the Eagles. The Eagles have been known to give up some points. I feel like, I feel like the the Raiders at home could could make some noise. There's Zion, second year Zion. There's emergent James Weissman. There's Andre Drummond Red Wave. There's second year John Morant. Luka Doncic, third year Luka Doncic, I think, by this point. Tim is saying, uh, what's up, Tim? The Magic are a sleeper. Whoever it is will be from the East. For sure the West is tough, but yeah. In the East, yeah, Orlando Magic did not have a good season at all. But there's always like that, that sneaky team from the year before that suddenly are like, wait, they're battling for a playoff spot all of a sudden. And then everyone's like, weren't they garbage the previous year? There's Isaac Okoro. Cavs are slowly, quietly building a nice team there. Could the Cavs be a team that surprises some people this season? Cleveland, this is for you. Aaron with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Avery Bradley, back with the Lakers. There's a rookie, James Weissman. That goes to Roy and the Warriors. Lakers leading by a few points on the Warriors at halftime. Not sure if, has James Weissman been a factor in this game? No, is James Weissman injured? Is he not playing right now? He must be hurt. There's Juan Hernan Gomez, Tyler Bay, rookie silver for Dallas. That's going to be for Tom. Tyrese Halliburton emergent and Kristaps Porzingis. He's injured. Okay, got it. All right, let's do a mega box. Let's do this mega box here. Won't be back until November for Weissner. All right, so this mega box, pink ice prisms, really, 10 of them, a lot. Looking for those. Good luck, this is all the last three, 2020, 2021. David B saying, what about the Raptors? Don't count out the Raptors, really good rookies there. Yeah, I've heard some people with previous basketball breaks we've done. We're talking to hoops. I've heard people seem to really like Malachi Flynn as a sort of guy that could maybe didn't make very much noise in his first year, but could make some noise in this year, in subsequent years. Who's everyone's uh, buy low? Um, who's everyone's buy low rookies or second year players? So obviously, in the uh, twenty twenty NBA draft. Go to that Wikipedia page really quick. Obviously, Edwards and, and, and Weissman and LaMelo Ball, Patrick Williams, we know about them. But who are some uh, some rookies from that class, that 2020 NBA draft class, that maybe didn't light it up their their first year? They're, I was going to say freshman year, but they're not in college anymore. Their first year that could that could make some noise in their second year. I know they still have a long, long ways to go to really see who they are, but... 
but maybe like who's good for the hobby? Specifically, hashtag good for the hobby. Who are we buying low on? Mark saying Tyrese Maxey for the Sixers. Yeah, like a, he's a decent, decent player. Good three and D guy. Maybe no Ben Simmons. That could help him out. So those are the pink ice, which I think look really sharp. There's Obi Toppin. He could be one of those guys. Ooh, David saying Jordan and Wara looked really good. 15, 6, and 1 tonight. That's not bad. There's a second year silver John Morant. Boone likes Pokusevsky and Wara, Aaron Naismith, Patrick Williams, Desmond Bain. Those are some options. Buy low on some of those guys. Bain, a uh, Morant teammate. There's Patrick Williams. Emergent Tyrese Halliburton for the Kings, Mike Tower. Adebayo, RJ Barrett, Trey Jones, and Zach Levine at the end. Let's do the other mega box. This one has red ice prisms. Yeah, I think Tim had mentioned that, that Orlando could be a team that surprises people. And if that happens, that's probably... Cole Anthony would probably be a good reason why. He was 15th overall, but I think he was supposed... People talk pre-draft, I think they were talking like he could have gone top 10. I think Denny Avija, I've mentioned this this guy a number of times, but Denny Avija could be, could be a guy. I think he battled some injuries last year and never quite got into the into it. Yeah, Isaac Okoro is the number five overall pick from the from last year's draft class. So he could make some noise in his second year. And then they got, they have Colin Sexton and Darius Garland out there. And if Okoro starts to develop, that could be interesting. And then they got Evan Mobley from USC. Cavs could be an interesting team to watch. They're your red ice here. They're not numbered, but they will ship. Like that silver Harrison Barnes will ship. Devin Vassell, red ice, rookie. Precious Achua. I want to see some, some big rookie names here. Red ice, big rookie names. Come on. Zobi Toppin, base rookie, Carmelo, Luka Doncic, Ish Smith, Anthony Davis. Uh, Red Ice Doncic going to Tom and Dallas, and the Obi Toppin base will go to Daniel and the Knicks, along with the other Obi Toppins we've seen in the break previously. There's Obi Toppin, Red Ice. Nice, yeah. Obi Toppin's one of those guys, I think, Mark. First off, they're a huge market team. Right, New York, obviously. They've been hungry for some great basketball. And they're finally getting it with the Knicks. All right, Emmanuel quickly, Obi Toppin. And I don't know if Obi Toppin looked good, but I don't know if he really lit it up. So if he takes the next step forward, this red ice exclusive from this mega box will be pretty nice for uh, Daniel and the Knicks. Maybe get that graded. And by the time it gets back to you, it could be... Uh, I mean, number of months into the season, he could be lighting it up. All right, final box in the 16 box. Uh, basketball is back. Mixer, I'm excited about the season. Stick with us all season long. Break basketball with us. Talk basketball with us. And, and we'll have fun discussing all the, all the ins and outs of the association all year long on jazbeescasebreaks.com and on this channel. May as well subscribe to it. Do it. Final box. Good luck, everybody.
I'll do a quick little recap right here. I know this break was more heavy on parallels than on hits, but a lot of gradable opportunities for, for some of the rookies that we've been hitting here. Let's see if we can finish strong here. We'll have plenty of basketball all year long, so keep joining our breaks, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And once we start start shifting out of the Lamello class, we're going to start working our way into all of the new product featuring Cade Cunningham and all those guys. So that'll be a lot of fun. There's Draymond Green, Silver. Jabari Parker, Green Ice. Zach Levine, Silver. JJ Berea, Green Ice. And we got an Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe, Bucks Relic. Going to Rob. The cracked ice pattern in the background looks pretty cool. Oh, and a number 49 out of 56. Jalen Brown, another Obi Toppin, base. Kevin Durant, silver. John Morant, Jaden McDaniels, green ice. And that, my friends, is going to be that. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Like I said, I appreciate it. Stick with us all season long for, for hoops. But it's good to have regular season basketball back. I appreciate everybody kickstarting the season, the basketball season, on a, on a good note on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.